So this is going to be a long reading. Wow. So for the Pisces water signs, we will um, go with it, honey. All right. Oh, spirit. That's the money, ch child. Okay. Maybe someone needs to hear that. So I did screen. I did a uh, screen. I uh, actually, um, I tongue scraped my tongue. So I cleaned off. The fool is a magician and a high priestess. <laughs> okay, this is what came out on the top. A fool, the magician, and a high priestess. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, and the Aries. Someone was wound up going to be a fool here if they don't recognize the worth of the Pice Pice. Okay, the emperor and the empress. Baby mother, baby father. Baby mother, father figure. Mother, father figure. Hierophant, divorce, marriage. The lovers, all right? Mm-hmm. Six of Cups is laying here. Beautiful cards. Wow, I can't wait. Should we do... Okay, so we have to do Pisces, all right? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, these will be the cards. Now, we're going to put the stone, all right, to allow it to uh, charge here, all right, while we start with Aries. Now, I already pre-shuffled the cards, all right? So, cross watches are welcome. Um, Pisces, let's manifest some love here. Bear with the priestess. I will upload this video tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Hmm. So, it's, it's uh, recorded today, which is the 6th. It will be uploaded on the 7th. On the, what am I saying? The 17th. 6, 7. 6, 7 might be significant to some people. You might reconcile a relationship with the past love on, um, no. So, um, a relationship with on this on November 5th or 6th all right that's what spirit is saying here all right so let me um judge up all right Pisces dealing with an Aries um what are the messages for Pisces wow dealing with an Aries and then you have the two of cups reversed so that's a divorce or marriage maybe an Aries need to get a divorce well ooh, okay spirit yes Pisces, someone needs to end a, a divorce or a marriage here, 1111, and then um, I just said a divorce, you have the 1111, Aries, um, Pisces, someone is married, someone needs to get a divorce, yeah, some of us are upset with the Aries, you're dumping this cup out, you're saying, uh-uh. You say no way. All right, I don't want what you serving me. You've been dealing with other people, okay? Pisces dealing with an Aries. Let's get clean energy. Aries spirit, what is the messages for Pisces? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone wants to offer you a small page, but shit, I mean, get right. Get that divorce. Do listen. You're not gonna wait. You don't have time. Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone is going to rush. Maybe this is you rushing towards this Aries as well. Um, whoa. Okay, so we're going to clarify. Um, oof, Pisces. They pissed you off, honey. Hair in front and high priestess. You found out someone needs to get a divorce or someone's committed somewhere else. Six of Wands and a Judgment. Yeah, div divorce. All court cards. Hair front. The Judgment is here. Divorce. So someone is going to offer to commit with to you. Either or. See how you see fit. But I do see your energies reverse. This is an Aries. Um, you have a lot of court cards. And speaking of a divorce. And a six of wands. And a high priestess is reversed. Someone is going to get caught. Uh, having dealings with another person. Four of four now. Four of wands. Eleven eleven. A divorce. Someone needs to. Someone is committed. If it's not a real divorce. Someone is committed somewhere else. And pretending to be single. What's the advice, the sexual advice for Aries and Pisces? Here we are. The advice is the fool. Someone is going to be controlled by intimacy, by lust, by passion, and it's going to probably be a mistake towards this um, Aries. And then someone will wind up single. I don't know if it's you or the other partner. I mean, this is a nine of wands. Being defensive. Okay, someone is on the defense. Maybe when they get caught, they might be defensive, aggressive with the strength card. Showing the beastie side of them. Alright, that's the Aries. 
All right, Pisces. What is the messages for Taurus? Alright, so this was actually Aries. Actually, let's do Aries. What is the uh, advice for Aries? The sun signs. These are uh, for the fire signs. So we have Leo. Well, Leo. The lovers is reversed. So, wow, someone is um, in a karmic connection. Maybe one person loved the other person more than the other. You also have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone needs money. Someone is saving money. All right, Leo. Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. Someone feels a little demonically controlled here. Nine of Pentacles. Someone doesn't want to be single, but they don't. They don't want to commit, or they don't have the money to commit. You're demanding this commitment. Lovers is also reversed. Maybe you're falling out of love with the Leo. What's the messages for Leo? Knight of Wands. Yeah, so everyone is doing this like kind of like pretend type of love. You know, they're talking a good talk, but at the end it's not really adding up. They're telling you they love you, they won't leave you, and they wind up cheating and leaving anyway. Yeah, here's the High Priestess and also the Three of Cups. So, Pisces, you need to listen to your intuition regarding this wow and the lovers. Woo! Alright, so this is supposed to be for Leo, but I mean, we might as well really clarify what this message is. You have a, a, another Pisces or a Gemini who wants to really take you by the Three of Cups. <laughs> Someone is trying to tame you, Pisces, and get into that, honey. Mm, another Gemini or Pisces might as well call it out. But this was for because the the lovers is here twice. This is why I had to read it for someone who's dealing with a Gemini. But that was for Leo. Okay, so Pisces dealing with the um Sagittarius. Yeah. Excuse me, Pisces. Now, I do have Sagittarius in my moon, and my son is Pisces. So, Pisces deal with the Sag. Let's see. Mm, two of Pentacles is a choice. It's a juggle here. Someone is juggling some balls, honey. All right. So, <laughs> wow. It was a Wow. What's going on, Saggy? It's a tower moment. Someone had ended things, honey. 10 10. A big 10. Someone walked away from my family. And a king of pentacles, or you want to offer this to a, a no, some your Pisces, Sagittarius? You want to offer them the ten of cups and become stable with them. You want to marry them, propose? Because you had just came out of a towel moment. You had some heavy burdens that you brought into the relationship. And now you're finally making the decision to choose the Pisces. Okay. I love it. It was a happy ending. Alright, ten of cups, happy ending. Happy family. Happy wife, happy life. Alright, so what is the sexual message for Pisces dealing with the Sagittarius? <laughs> Ooh, the same cards, the Knight of Wands, and High Priestess all day so far in these readings. Spirit said, Crystal, you and the money here. Someone is trying to marry you. 11 11 and the Ace of Wands. And want and want to be honest after some foolery fuckery knight of wands here. So someone is walking away. The knight of wands is immature Sagittarius. You're done being an immature fool. Because the priestess, the high priestess wasn't dealing with that. Okay, they gave you ultimatum. You need to commit or else. So you're you're walking away from your foolery, your fuckery ways. And you want to offer commitment to your Pisces. So congratulations to the Sagittarius out there. Alright, so let's do the air signs. Because the earth signs give me a lot, child. Um, let's use this deck for the um, air signs. Game of Thrones. Actually, these are not the Game of Thrones. Alright, so Pisces dealing with the Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius. Ooh, Queen. I don't know if I should make it upright or reverse. But Pisces, some of you... I'm not happy with the Aquarius right now. Let's see why. Pisces dealing with the woo. Aquarius got a lot to say. Eight of Wands. Someone is walking away. And actually six of wands and the three of wands. Okay. Someone is waiting for messages to come in. 
Or maybe you're contacting Aquarius, but they're not responding. Aquarius, let's see. Yeah, Aquarius need some time, okay? They need to find their own light. They're not interested at the moment. They need some time. And, wow, someone just got up and left. Good ghosted and left you destituted to, to fend for yourself here. All right, someone is chasing money here. Someone is just thirst thirst. All right, two of swords. Maybe you walked away from the foolery and they're upset about it. Why is the, um, what's the sexual message for um, Aquarius? Okay, let's see. We got two cards, five of chalices and the queen of chalices. Wow, they are upset with you or you're upset with them. You're reversed. All the cups is reversed. Like, you're just dumping double whammy conversa conversation. Confirmation of the Queen of Cups reverse. And the three, what is this? The five of child. So someone is walking away from you and then crying. Or you're doing it. You're acting tough and then crying over the spilled milk reversed. Alright, so Pisces dealing with the, um, a Libra. Okay. Everybody is crying and whimpering and shit. The Five of Cups. What in the hell going on? Is the Mercury retrograde that bad? So someone is rushing in towards this passion with you, though. Okay. Libra is um, trying to get into them panties, honey. Drop those panties. All right. So the Hermit and Eight of Pentacles. So they want to work on their career first. All right. But they think they got time to make this choice. Queen of Swords reversed. They, they might be upset and shutting you out. Or maybe they found something, digged up some some evidence on your ass, Pisces. Or you found some shit on them. Switch it how you see fit. Okay, leave the rest. What's the sexual energy for Libra? Okay, Libras. Wow, you're here. Libra, you're trying to... Uh-uh, you trying to take somebody to the woods and get it in, honey. The hangman. And you have also the judgment. Woo, look at this. The judgment is happy family. Wow. Libra. You have the chariot not coming towards someone, but you want the sun. Okay, so maybe this is why you need some time. But you do have taming the six of swords is move, moving towards karma waters and the seven of wands. So you're letting down your guard. Maybe you had your guard up. Maybe your standards are too high. All right, and then you're missing them. You broke up with them, and then now you're missing them. Someone is in nostalgia. Someone is fantasizing about you, romanticizing. Which we got earlier. It might be a Libra. So let's see. Um, Pisces done with the Geminis. What is these? Ooh. Mm, let's see what this is. Wow. Interesting. Alright. So you have the Five of Swords. Gemini is playing. Okay. Hide and seek. Or they might be dealing with multiple people. You have the uh, Hangman and the Temperance here. Got you stuck. They stalking you. The Six of Swords. They want to be with you. They don't want to. Coming in and out of your life. Four of Cups and feeling self-pity. The Ten of Swords. Oh, well, Pisces hurt me. And then you have these two Knights. So, someone think they have options or keeping you as an option. Moving slow to offer this love towards you. Knight of Pentacles and a Knight of Cups. Alright. It's a lot for um, Geminis. Let's do one more advice for Pisces in with the Gemini because that came out quick. Wow. Split. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God. It's split in half. Love and a soulmate. Y'all stop. I don't have to pause this. Did we just split it in half and receive a soulmate and the lovers? A marriage, a, a proposal. I love you. I know what it's like to not have you in my life and I want to make things work between us. Let's take this leap of faith. Oh my God. Gemini. I am impressed. Wow. Okay. Pisces dealing with the gym. I'm scared to even do any more readings. Okay. Dasher. Okay. Someone's running in, honey. Let's get one more. That is beautiful. And then someone is in nostalgia. Oh. <laughs> I'm all. Why am I excited? I'm getting. It's getting hot in this mother. Mm. Okay, Pisces done with the Gemini. Now, you might, what, who we just de dealt with, a Libra, right? So, somebody might have, somebody might be in the middle. 
a Libra or they might be using their better judgment to judge this relationship. They're stuck in their head about you. They're trying to think about what to do. All right, let's give a stand and ovation to Gemini dealing with the Pisces. Y'all go ahead, Jemmys. Go and get your love. What you waiting for? Is it okay here? All right. So Pisces, wow, maybe you guys had a lot of soul searching. You guys were arguing a lot. All right. So um, this is the air signs. This is done. Let's retire that. We will do now the um, the earth signs. We'll use the urban deck here. Pisces dealing with uh, a Taurus. <laughs> Taurus is like, always I'm working. What do you want? <laughs> Pisces dealing with the uh, Taurus. Yeah, Taurus. They're moving slow. Listen, Taurus is thinking. So, and they also might be jealous, a little jealous. A lot of Taurus are jealous. Wow. Knight and King of Pentacles. Taurus is here. Someone is moving slow though. Wow, yeah. And someone's gonna break your heart or you broke there. Someone is stuck, honey. They're leaving you stuck, self-sacrificing and putting all in the work, and then you sitting here texting your friends like now nah, I'm okay. They might even like just not even respond. Let's get one more for Taurus. Why Taurus? Mmm. Passionate passion and wands. They want to be passionate with you, but they're not interested in a commitment. Knight of the knight of uh, wands here. And the page of wands. They want to offer you sex and passion. And they gotta go to work. Okay? Sex, passion, and I gotta go to work. Alright? So that's what um the Taurus is saying currently. Sex, passion, and work. Alright. What is the sexual message for Taurus? Ooh, okay, yeah. So you might have a soulmate connection with the Taurus all day. We, so far, we just did Gemini. So you have a soulmate connection. Hopefully, Gemini ain't fucking around with no Taurus behind our backs. You got the Ten of Pent, Ten of what's this? Ten of Cups, Weavers. So they want to be with you for a short time, but not a long time. Do you have the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and they might be lying to you about something that's sneaky about their words, their actions? I'm coming over. I'm not coming. Shit like that, leaving you hanging and stuck. Alright, or they might sleep with you and you don't even know what a relationship is at. <laughs> that type of energy. Pisces dealing with the Capricorn. Hmm. A lot came out. These Capricorns give me so much trouble, child. You have the King of Wands and the Five of Cups. Someone is mourning this loss of this connection. You have the Ten of Cups and the Death card. So someone is ending things. And then you have the Ten. Everything is fine. It's the Ten of Swords. Okay? Ten of Swords. Someone is just not happy sexually, emotionally, and physically. Someone is just... Someone is missing you as well with the Five of Cups. Wow. Yeah, someone is wanting to commit. But uh, something is in the way. Maybe a death in the family or something ended uh, in a bad way. You have 11 11. Someone is definitely missing you. They, they're they missing this connection. The moon. But something is secretive. They, they are secretly hiding their emotions from you, Pisces. All right. With this five of cups. And then you have this commitment. Someone is like pretending like, yeah, I'm okay. Everything is all, all right. Ten of swords. But really secretly missing you. Pretending like they don't care. Alright, what's the sexual message for these Capricorns? If it's not your energy, if it's not their energy, Pisces, it's yours. Switch it how you see fit. So they do have a solid connection with you, even if it hurts. Taking this leap of faith. Alright, um, and then you have the Six of Wands reversed. So they're not going to be successful in trying to like convince you. Of any lies because I think Pisces you caught on to like the full read. Let's get one more. Yeah, someone is um overindulging. They might be dealing with the Aries, someone who would just lay there and deal with their bullshit. But they're not trying to lose you, so they're gonna stay connected with you by all means necessary. Alright, ten of swords. They're not ready to let you go completely. So they might just give you some a break. You know, maybe Pisces need a break. Well, Pisces, this could be you. Give them Capricorns a break because they're acting up. All right, so um, Pisces dealing with the Virgo. I do like my Virgos. Excuse me. All 
Pisces dealing with the Virgo. Will of Karma. Wow, Will of Karma. Virgos always have money. Let's really, um, let's retire this deck and do Virgo separately because we have to do my Virgos. I have Virgo rising in my chart. Oh, look at Virgo as well. Money cha-ching, being single and loving herself. And then you have the king. Wow. You have the king of cups plus Virgo. The nine of pentacles is a Virgo card. Pisces dealing with the Virgo. Virgo is like, thank you for changing the deck. Someone wants to return after cutting off communication. Someone just got up and left, just not even thought about anything of Virgo normally. Um, they perhaps was dealing with the wa uh, uh, water. They perhaps was dealing with the uh, fire sign, Aerial Sag. Um, let's see, Virgo, Pisces in with the Virgo. Wow, so someone's heart got broken. Someone perhaps even fell out of love. You have two and three of swords. Virgo. So, so Virgo is thinking about being single, or they are single. King of Wands, Aerial Sag. They perhaps lost their passion. Maybe their passion died out, or you, or your passion died out for for the uh, Virgo. You have the four of pentacles holding on tight either to money. Maybe a Virgo was stingy. A Virgo is kind of stingy too. Let's see. Pisces dealing with the uh, Virgo sexual energy. Do we have any sex here? <laughs> an emperor and an emperor. Wow, okay. This is the couple. A Taurus. Both are Taurus energies and an emperor can play a role of a Libra. So wow, okay. So they want some they want a foundation. Marriage. They don't want to play. Pisces. So if you're dealing with the Virgo, they're like, nah. And then at the bottom of the deck of the sexual cards, you have the king of, um, what is this? The uh, knight of chalices and the five of chalices. Mourning a loss of this connection. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Virgo might even have that in their chart. And this is a power couple. Wow. They want to treat you like a king. If you're dealing with the Virgo, they're going to love you. Like, they're going to honor you, respect you as the queen. Or if you're dealing with the a, a female Virgo, they're going to respect you now. Okay, maybe you have to serve some act right. Maybe you have to disappear or walk away from this connection. And someone is going to wake up and say, Wow, this other Aries Leo Sag didn't do me justice. I need my waterworks back or I need my queen back. Alright, so it's up to you Pisces or it's up to the Virgo. Switch it how you see fit, fit and leave the rest. Alright, this is done. Let's start with the water signs Pisces. Now, we do have this new deck for the water signs. We're going to leave Pisces the best for last. <laughs> so, when I cut the deck, we got the Queen of Cups immediately and a commitment. All right. I love it. Pisces dealing with a cancer. Let us know what we need to know. Two cards split in half. There's six of cups and the five of cups. Five, six, wow. So someone is missing you dearly, okay? To the point of they feel like they're dying. These are new cards, so bear with me as I read them. And then you have the four of pentacles. This guy is holding on to his money, hiding them into, the, into his pocket. He has some behind the painting, all right? Pisces dealing with the cancer. Ooh, these are beautiful. Okay, nine of pentacles. So cancer might be um single and you have the ten of pentacles, but this is supposed to be about money. Why is it roaches in here? Alright, so it's a roadmap. Page of Pentacles. So these are beautiful. I love them so far. So you have the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. Someone is work working hard. Now, if you looked at some of my prior readings dealing with cancers, cancers are working hard. They might be just burying themselves in work so they won't think about this relationship. Yep. So someone is single and they're mourning the loss of this connection. Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. And then you have the Ten of Cups. So someone is working hard. They're trying to save this money. Alright. Let me, let me really shuffle. Is that the Mexican lady? The artist? I forgot her name. With the with the unibrow, I think it was a brow that came in. I'm not sure. Nine of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment and waiting for someone. 
Cancer and Pisces. Whoa, I love it. And what is this? Judgment. Ooh, Pisces. Wow. Moon, day and night. And it's split. I'm going to make it go in slow motion, but how beautiful is that, Pisces? Wow, look at this connection, Pisces. The moon and the sun. <laughs> so for the new moon, you might get a contact from a cancer. Day and night. Wow, Pisces. And right here you have the world. You guys are distance apart. And the ace, oh my goodness. You have the ace of cups, the ace of wands, and the two of cups, which we read during the reading. So Pisces, you have an oath to make between a Cancer or a Gemini. That is your soulmate. I'm scared to even do sexual. What is the sexual message? Wow. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Love and passion. Can't believe it. Someone had heart broke heart was broken. And then you have the hermit. Someone took some time out. Like I said, someone is working. All right, someone needs time and the three of pentacles so they could come together with you and make amends and make love to you. You also have the world reverse again, the five of cups, and you have the cancer here. Someone's going crazy here without you, or you're going crazy without the cancer. But you guys are distance apart. It's just a matter of time before you guys really meet. Maybe around the holidays, I'm seeing. All right, I love it. Beautiful. What a way to have a reading for a cancer. All right, Cancer, you're lucky. Pisces done with the Cancer. Wow, Cancer. Okay, someone is, listen, a Cancer is going to fight two for now for you. Now, if you guys are not in connection now, you guys will um, meet again. I love it. Pisces done with the Scorpio. What is <laughs> Stop it. All right, so Pisces dealing with the um, a Scorpio. These cards are talking. Ten of Pentacles and a Magician, and then you have the Hermit. So, wow, Scorpio's making that bread and that butter, honey. Woo! A Will of Karma, Will of Fortune, and then you have the um, Knight of Wands. Someone is gonna come in, but it's not gonna last. And it's going to leave you puzzled here with the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So someone is going to be mentally kind of like, wait a minute. Alright. So the camera stops. So Scorpio, Pisces, if you're done with the Scorpio, that relationship might not last long. Alright, so you do have um, the Three of Wands and the Hierophant. So someone is needs to walk away from a commitment or someone is not interested in committing here. Alright, but they have love and passion for you. King of um, Cups. Pisces dealing with the Scorpio. Page of Wands. Wow. So someone wants to take a leap in, in, in towards love and passion, but someone is afraid. Okay. Look at them. Look at these people. The devil is chasing. Like tempting. You feel tempted, but it's not. You don't feel something is missing. And you also have the Ten of Swords. Wow. So someone... We'll break your heart, maybe a Scorpio, or you break you will break a Scorpio's heart. See, put the story where you see fit. What is the um what is the sexual energy for Pisces in with a Scorp? Wow, okay, so someone wants passion. Alright, Grey's Anatomy. No, not Grey's Anatomy. Um Fifty Shades of Grey. So someone wants to control and tame you. Someone wants you to sign a sexual contract. I don't know if they even do that anymore. So you have the Knight of Pentacles and the, and the Knave of Wands. So the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Someone wants to have like a sexual contract here. Pisces. I don't know if you you, you with that. Alright. And someone might have offered you an open relationship with the Three of Cups. So someone wants to introduce you to family for the holidays. Alright. But it comes with some type of disagreement. Alright. But the sex seems like it's banging between you two. Alright. So Pisces dealing with the... um. 
Pisces. Now, if you're not dealing with the Pisces, Pisces, when I do the readings for Pisces, this can resonate with you. This can be a message for you. You have a, a marriage, wow, and a commitment. Um, the two of wands and the, and the lovers again? Wow, someone is obsessed. Obsession is an understatement. And you have the four of pentacles again. Someone is holding tight one too and putting you in their back pocket. Like, no, I'm not going to lose this one. This one is going to stay. Okay, Pisces. Two of wands and a lover. Someone is like, uh-uh. Ooh, Pisces. I love it. Okay, so Pisces, you have the two of wands, the lovers, and the four of pentacles. So someone you love is connected to you and they're not trying to let you go or you're attached to someone else that you really, really love. All right, so let's see, Pisces. Let's fix the Buddha, shall we? <laughs> All right, let me see. God, please give us any messages that we need to know. Ouch. Okay, so the Three of Swords and the Death card. So it's a rebirth. So someone wants to heal a broken heart with you. It might be a, a Gemini. Yeah, someone wants to offer you a, a cup of love. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles, but they're moving slow. Okay, they're not even offering up passion. Someone needs some time out for Swords to think reversed. Wow, look at these cards. are beautiful, Pisces. It might be you or your partner. Switch it how you see fit, Spirit says. Okay? You have the Ace of Wands. So maybe your passion is dying out with this connection. You do have the Page of Cups. Wow. Someone feel, someone is distorted here. Someone is uh, missing. Someone's body parts are just shattered all over. Someone is drained. Emotionally just tapped out. Five of Swords are mentally tapped out. But someone wants to offer you a commitment here and love. But it comes with some type of emotion. So much emotions here. Someone also have options. Hmm. Someone wants the rebirth. A reconnection after a heartbreak. Okay. Maybe you guys said some bad words towards each other. But uh, you do have the lovers here. Maybe it's a demonic connection. When I read the uh, two of uh, the lovers. It has a, a very good meaning to it. Come hell or high water I'm getting. That you guys are going to fight for this love and its connection. Four of swords. And the two of wands. So someone is waiting for a message to come in. Or someone is waiting to, to really offer this cup of love. They want to make sure that it's deemed necessary. Someone is afraid to get their heart broken as well, Pisces. So I'm seeing some of us are afraid to love again. Maybe the pain... Of the past relationships is carrying over, over to the new relationship. You're afraid to start a new love. What's the um, messages for Pisces? Dealing with the Pisces. Why am I doing lovers? I suppose it's not Gemini. <laughs> Alright, so I was reading this for Gemini. So Pisces dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, so Pisces, you have a lot to discover and recover from. From a broken heart. All right, so let me see what this. Yeah, the high priestess. Look at God. <laughs> Woo! So Pisces, yes, you want someone to apologize. That's what this is. All right, the high priestess is here. They will apologize, but you need some time to think. All right. Or since you know now, I'm aware of the Pisces. This is the Three of Swords and the um, and the Death card. Maybe someone hurt you to the point where of no return. You're just shell shock. Four swords landing in this pain. Like just not even interested in even reopening your body to anyone with the ace of wands reverse. And you have the five. You're disfigured. Or you feel misplaced and, and disfigured. Alright. So you want to listen to intuition and learn how to love yourself here. Queen of Cups. High Priestess here and a Page of Cups. You do have love coming from a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It may be Aries or Sagittarius, though. All right, so what's the final advice for my queens and kings? Work on your career because whatever is a secret might be a secret, all right? 
tomorrow you might get some messages from someone who love you and you have an imprint someone wants to either treat you like this imprint or someone is to have dealings with their baby mother baby father that they need to end and stop playing around with all right so you're working on your career all right eight of coins and you have the moon you know something is secretive this is why the high priestess is here it's about pisces having secrets and knowing what is the veil you know you you, you know what's underneath someone's you know mask they can't hide their 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 deceit from you mm -hmm. so the veil has been lifted and you're just like okay well i'm gonna work on my career if you want to when you're ready to treat me like this empress i'm here okay yeah you're tired of giving up your love easily and then um wait happen to wait everything out yourself even your own heart even your own love you're just needing a break from this toxicity here all right pisces so let's close it out with um let's use the regular psalms all right let's bless everyone spirit god has crowned you with love and mercy a paradise crown he wraps you in goodness and beauty eternally psalms 103 4 5 103, 4, 5. Okay. In your presence there is fullness of joy. Psalms 16-11. Alright, Pisces, let's see. Um So let's use Archangel Michael cards. Hey. You are guarded and protected. Positive thoughts create positive results. So keep your thoughts positive. Stop thinking negatively. All right. And they have a prayer here. It says for the. Um, let's read the prayer. For Pisces. Pisces and cross watchers are welcome. So the page is interesting. Number 66. Okay, positive thoughts. This situation calls for uplifting thoughts, which are magic. Which are the magic ingredients you've been looking for? Although you may protest that you already have a positive mindset, Archangel Michael advises you to purge your thoughts and speak of and uh, speech of any worries or any negativity that could diminish your manifestations. Michael says that you can tell how constructive your thoughts are by paying attention to recent events in your life as there are a direct correlation between positive thoughts and positive results. He'll help you bow away your spirit to a truly beneficial level so that your experience are happy and welcome. Possible, spe uh, possible specific meaning. Adapt a daily or hourly practice of saying positive affirmations. Read a book or take a class on positive affirmations. Avoid blaming yourself or others instead focus on solutions rather than worrying about something and pray and practice a loving compassionate state of mind the prayer divine love and wisdom i call upon you now i know that your mind and emotions are internally and continually connected to you i ask my highest self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person in every situation archangel Michael is protecting you in this situation as you um, as well as other areas of your life. You and Archangel are, the, are a team. You follow the guidance he gives you through your intuition. You likely drew this card because you're going through a major life change and are feeling vulnerable. But this symbol is, remind you, is to remind you that Michael is watching over you around the clock. This card also urges you to drop your defenses and relationships with people and angels. Open your heart 
to give it and receive love so that you can experience the intimacy you deeply desire. Be your authentic self with others and tell the angels about your feelings. This allows others to know, support, and love you, including loving yourself for who you are. The possible specific meaning, your financial needs will be met. You'll be happy. Um, you'll have a happy outcome concerning a legal matter. Sleep well. Your home is being watched over. Your children are protected and safe. Your loved ones are the angels in heaven. The prayer. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that they're, that uh, we are safe and that all of our needs are met. I know I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. God bless you. Namaste. Thank you.